If you're relying on a Republican Congress and Republican president to protect the Constitution with a Republican-backed Supreme Court nominee, you've already lost. A recent act by Justice John Roberts proves this once again, and we'll talk about that next. In what the New York Times called a significant victory for the Obama administration, Justice Roberts unilaterally refused to block an EPA regulation limiting emissions of mercury and other toxic pollutants from coal-fired power plants. A lot of people had their hopes up after the full court blocked the clean power plan limiting CO2 emissions from coal plants just a few weeks earlier. But as the Times pointed out, this was a highly unusual move. The unilateral ruling from Roberts on mercury emissions was a return to form. The Supreme Court siding with the federal government against the states who were trying to stop unconstitutional federal regulations. Now, a lot of people keep saying that we need a Republican in the White House and Republicans in Congress because they will appoint and approve good Supreme Court justices who will supposedly restore the Constitution. But remember, Roberts was a George W. Bush appointee, a Republican, and he was approved by a Republican-controlled Senate. And by the way, let's not forget this great Republican savior also brought us the Obamacare decision. So this is what Republicans give us, like Democrats, in the name of protecting the Constitution, though, more federal power. Really, we shouldn't be surprised. This is what you will always get when you depend on the federal government to limit its own power. My name is Michael Bolden, reporting for the 10th Amendment Center. Thank you so much for watching.